We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good noon, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, as we celebrate this Eucharistic celebration, we also continue to praise and thank God for all the blessings that we have received. We praise and thank Him, even for the smallest and the littlest of blessings that we have received and we also continue to pray for all our sick brothers and sisters especially those who long to be with us in the celebration but could not make it because of sickness and now my dear brothers and sisters to make ourselves worthy to celebrate this eucharist let us now acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the lord for pardon and strength together I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me, me to, to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you to our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen please be seated A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet but do not possess. You kill and envy but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask but do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. Adulterers, do you not know that to be a lover of the world means enmity with God? Therefore, Whoever wants to be a lover of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you suppose that the scripture speaks without meaning when it says, The spirit that he has made to dwell in us tends toward jealousy. But he bestows a greater grace, therefore it says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you of two minds. Begin to lament, to mourn, to weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into dejection. Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will exalt you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Throw your cares on the Lord and he will support you. Throw your cares on the Lord, and he will support you. And I say, 
had I but wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Far away I would flee, I would lodge in the wilderness. Throw your cares on the Lord and he will support you. I would wait for him who saves me from the violent storm and the tempest. Engulf them, O Lord, divide their counsels. Throw your cares on the Lord and he will support you. In the city, I see violence and strife. Day and night, they prowl about upon its walls. Throw your cares on the Lord and he will support you. Cast your care upon the Lord and he will support you. Never will he permit the just man to be disturbed. Throw your cares on the Lord and he will support you. Please stand. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee. But he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. For they had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around him, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ. I hope that you are doing good, and I hope that you are feeling better now that we have the rains. We can already sleep well. We can already sleep better than the past days. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, if you have listened closely to our readings, it's a very strange gospel because the disciples showed how human they are. They showed their humanity no? because it is human nature to divert to other things when we don't want to hear, when we don't want to know the things that we are hearing. Imagine today in the gospel, Je Jesus was talking about his, his impending death. He was telling them that one day they, he shall be crucified and he will die. 
he will be gone. But nobody minded. Mind you, no, human as we are, like the disciples, they did not mind actually. We don't know exactly if they did not understand or maybe they did, just, they did not just want to listen what Jesus wanted to tell them because they don't want to lose him. But my dear brothers and sisters, the other thing that makes the thing wrong and the experience of the disciples wrong was that instead of asking Jesus questions about what he was saying, the disciples were talking about another thing, and that's about who would be the greatest among them. Human tendency, when we don't understand and when we don't know and when we don't like the topic that someone is telling us, we divert. But theirs, the disciples, is more strange because they were starting to talk about who would be the greatest. They fully misunderstood Jesus. He did, they did not understand Jesus. No, they did not really fully comprehend him because they instead talked about who would be the greatest. Yesterday, if you watch the news, uh, we have a new, actually, uh, a new Senate president. No? And when we talk about politics, it becomes more interesting for us. And same is true with the disciples of Jesus. Politics, position, and power was more important to them than actually trying to understand what was their mission. But my dear brothers and sisters, now for us to be able to fully understand Jesus, let us not be afraid to humble ourselves before God when things seem to be very difficult to understand. Our self-emptying, we must empty ourselves, our self emptying creates a lot of room for Jesus to feel what's lacking in us. Kaya, if you don't understand what's happening to you right now, try to empty yourselves. Try to tell God, I'm poor enough in front of you. Fill me with your love. Fill me with your grace so that I will know what to do, especially during these moments when I don't know really exactly what to do. Kapag nagmamayabang ka, if you, if you become too confident about yourselves, then the power of God could not work in you. Lastly, my dear brothers and sisters, the last part of the gospel gives us a proposal. Jesus gives us a good example of how is it to live in his kingdom and how is it to live in him. He said, no. You have to become like a child. We have to become like children who is totally dependent on and to God. Kayo po ba, ikatulad ng isang bata or nagmamayabang kayo? Because there are moments actually that even if we are so, uh, have feeling so heavy, even if we are feeling life to be very difficult, we tend to try to solve things on our own. But today, Jesus is telling us, be poor in the eyes of God. Be like a child who would be totally dependent on God. Because once we become fully dependent on God, then it would be easier for Him to work on us and to make us know what's actually our mission in life. Kaya kung naguguluhan kayo ngayon, go back to the gospel. Go back to what Jesus is proposing. Be humble, as our first reading is telling us. You have to humble, humble yourselves, according to St. James, before the Lord, because He will exalt you. He will raise you up. Sa mga confused ngayon, sa mga takot ngayon, sa mga hindi alam, for those who doesn't know actually what to do, be like God's children, fully dependent, so that the power of God will also fully work on you. Please all stand.
Oratio Imperata Ad Petendam Pluvium. God, our loving Father, creator of our earth and of the universe, and of all the wondrous elements of nature that sustain your living creatures, we humbly ask you to grant us relief from the extreme heat that besets your people at this time, disrupting their activities and threatening their lives and livelihood. Send us rain to replenish our depleting water sources, to irrigate our fields, to stave off water and power shortages, and to provide water for our daily needs. At your command, the wind and the seas obey. Raise your hand, Almighty God, to avert the continuing rise in temperatures, so that your people can engage in productive undertakings and our young people can pursue learning in tranquility and comfort. Merciful and generous God, open our eyes to the richness and beauty of your creation and instill in us a deep love for this earth and all that is in and around it. Teach us to be wise stewards of your creation so that we may always use them responsibly and protect them from abuse and exploitation. At this time of crisis, dear Lord, move us to share more, to serve more, and to love more. Loving God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you entrusted the Filipino people to the special care of Mary, our mother. Listen to the prayers that we bring up to her, our blessed mother, to intercede for us, for the protection of our land and our people whom she loves. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Saint Rose of Lima, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Caluso, pray for us. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church reverently presented in this day, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of its death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gathered today. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, especially Saint Louis Marie de Montfort, Saint Pedro Calunsod and Lorenzo Ruiz, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We were taught by Jesus Christ to pray to the Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us show each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel.
Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly bow before the Lord. Let us be humble so that He can feel whatever is lacking and empty in us. May you have a good day and may you continue to believe in His power to help and save you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.